Sheffer, are you getting... Come on, Stan, come on, Stan, come on. Yeah, come on. I'll open the door nah, for you. I picked you up from the air. Take it, pick me up. I'll be I picked you up from the air. That's no, okay, thank you. Yeah, I mean, we're talking about opinions, um, pro winger, um, decisions of referees, and most times fans, which is a, a modern thing these days for the past 10 years or so, they're listening to pundits. As you say, you were lambasted. I'm, 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 I'm the, not sure they are listening to us. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're listening to you, yeah, yeah. and then they're going against yeah. you, especially when it's their well, club. I think the, the, the difference is now, from when I played, that fans are more educated. Mm -hmm. They understand the game a lot better. There is more football on telly, on the internet. They, they watch an awful lot more football. So they, they understand it. They, they get it more. You can't pull the wool over their eyes. You know, you can't make something up and tell them it's not available true. everywhere. Yeah, it? because they've seen it everywhere. They've seen the goals. They, un they un like I said, they understand it. You know, better than most people. But having said that, if I'm sat in a TV studio, I've been asked my opinion. And as as a, a, obviously with your yeah, credibility, of course, as, as an expert. And it, yeah. so it's, it doesn't mean it's right or wrong, but it's my opinion. But people get so angry, you know, and, they, and it's but it's great sometimes. But then you. I think that when you some sit down and talk to them or explain to them why you say what you say or your rationale of, of why that's the case, we had it this weekend with the Liverpool decisions. It's not. I'm not biased towards anybody. I've been called biased towards Man United, Man City, against Arsenal, Liverpool. against Liverpool, and then pro Liverpool. So <laughs> all I'm doing, every game I do, I do as a, as a one-off. What, what what's the worst you have received at the wrong end? Uh, like I, I think it, it's, it, it always makes me laugh when people say you, you'll get a, a tweet or you'll get a phone call come in and they'll go, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. You were rubbish. All you did was just go around kicking people. What do you know about football? Wow. Well, uh, 25 years as, as, you know, in, in the game, 15 years as a, as a professional, international, 10 years as a pundit. I, 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 I always flip it around and say, well, it makes it, it's amazing that if you're a lawyer or a bank manager or you work in a hotel, you think you know more about football than I do. I yeah. don't pretend to know about your job. <laughs> I agree with you. It's like it's like it's like how if someone turned up and, and, and said, "Oh, tomorrow I'm having a talk, uh, a medical talk," yeah, and he's not a doctor, but all of a sudden everyone can be. A specialist in football. Every, everyone's a football expert. But they've never kicked a ball. Yeah, they, they've never expert. been involved in football. And, and you don't, just watching you don't, you don't the have to have, have, have kicked a ball. I, I don't like it when pundits go, well, they've never played the games they don't understand. Well, that's not necessarily because they, true. Because, they, I mean, you're coming from a point where a lot of managers, successful managers, yeah. come well, from a background never ever well, kicked Mourinho a ball. Well, Mourinho wasn't yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Ferguson wasn't brilliant. Arsene Wenger, they weren't brilliant footballers. They played a little bit. So you don't have to have played at the highest level to be a great manager or understand the game. But you do need to under... It does help sometimes of knowing that situation when you've been in that dressing room, when you've been in that pitch under pressure, why the player made that decision. You know, because you do, you get wrapped up emotionally in things. Yeah, but that's also coming down to gaining knowledge, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, uh, where most of the none ex-footballers who became managers, they took it more seriously because they knew they started off from nowhere. Yep. In comparison, when you go for a coaching course with a professional footballer who's lived it. Well, we, we've well, we've just seen it in England. Obviously, Phil Neville got given uh, uh, the women. England, England women's job. Yeah. Never worked in women's football. Mm -hmm. Never coached. Never managed. And, and made it a top job. And goes straight into the team that's third in the world. Well, that wouldn't happen in any other industry. Yeah, it would. So that's on name alone. That you and get in. So that's, the fact that's that his achievements. As yeah. As a so that's where player. football can be wrong. Yeah. You know, in, in those sort of areas. And we saw that happen. Gary Neville, despite being a yeah, very good pundit, yeah, won all accolades as a as a as a as a Man United player. But then he, he couldn't handle that. Co coaching, playing, and coaching are two completely. You got to start skills. from ground zero, yeah. isn't it? I, I I say, being a pundit is halfway between, because you can be as critical as you like. You can have your opinion. But it counts for nothing. Yeah. Because you're not accountable. It doesn't. It doesn't matter if I say you should have played three at the back, or you should have played five at the back, or you should have played out from the back, or not, whatever. It's just one person's opinion. It doesn't really matter. 
because I don't get fired unless I say something really bad. <laughs> I'm not going to get fired, so yeah. You know, and it's, it's it's just it's my opinion from watching lots and lots of football. <laughs> So it's been absolutely fantastic uh, being part of Man on the Street, meeting all the fans in Malaysia. Uh, some really good fans. Uh, obviously, Ethan knowing all about Chelsea, and I had Ragu, Liverpool. Uh, we just had Kai talking about Arsenal. Very, very knowledgeable. Very, very passionate. Great to see. Lots of really good questions. You know, managers in, managers out. Fans happy, not happy. But I think it's just great to see the passion, the emotion that these fans have. Clearly, they follow their clubs so well. Watch all the games, know the ins and outs, know far more than I do about their football clubs, and they just love their football. So it's been absolutely brilliant. Uh, thanks, guys, and been brilliant to be part of Man on the Street. Are you still? Are you still filming me? Yeah.